You know that tactic that works when you go watch bad movies, how if you watch like a bad movie and then you go see a not so bad movie, it makes that movie seem that much better? Yeah, it didn't help with this one. Okay, I would just like to state off right now that before I do my review slash rant, I am telling you all right now that I am a fan of the Resident Evil games and the animated movie, which, which I already did a review for last week, and I am planning on buying the sequel to it, which is called Resident Evil Damnation, in about a week and a half. And I'm very pumped up to play Resident Evil 6 whenever it come, when it comes out on October 2nd. Now, doing knowing that, if you are a Resident Evil fan, if you are a Resident Evil fan of the games, you are... You, you might as well turn your fan, Resident Evil fan button off for like the next two hours when you go to see this movie because it is not going to help. You are going to even be more pissed off than anything you have seen before because that is what I felt going in. So knowing that, I decided that for the last for the time I was seeing this movie, I would not be a Resident Evil fan. I'm just going to go in as a normal person with an open mind, and that was my mistake because this movie does absolutely nothing to try and entertain you or help you. It's basically one big steaming pile of excrement. I'm, I'm trying to keep this peachy. And nothing works. Whatever plot there is, is there is no plot. I Nothing is explained. I'm not kidding. Nothing is explained. It's a bunch of random events just thrown in just to be cool looking to film that have nothing to do with each other. The only thing I can tell you is that at the beginning, it takes place right after the events of the last movie, in which they actually do a little monologue to tell you what has happened in the last four films, in case you're too stupid to understand, or they actually think people are going to use this film to jump onto the Resident Evil movie franchise. Anyway, apparently she gets knocked off the boat and knocked it, and then she wakes up in a suburban home, and everything's all, you know, happy dandy. She's living a nice marriage with a little kid, and all of a sudden zombies come out of nowhere, and they basically completely rip off the, the opening scene to Do the remake of Dawn of the Dead, which was a complete insult, which has done so much better. And you find out that this whole scenario was a completely hologram, she's in a hologram room, and apparently they're using her for some testing, and apparently the Red Queen from the first movie, yeah, you know the one that they, they completely fried that hard drive, and which is kind of why the White Queen was created? Yeah, she's back, and that's never explained. And apparently, she has taken over Umbrella, and Wesker decides to recruit her and a couple of the other Resident Evil characters from, you know, the game franchise to team up together and take down the Red Queen. And to save humanity, which is really odd, seeing how Wesker has always been kind of the person who wants to destroy it. So, I don't know what is this whole change of heart thing, but... That's, uh, that's as much as I'm going to get into in terms of plot, because to go any more, you, you really have to punish yourself to try to understand this movie. Now, I'm aware that there is a fan base out there for these movies, but this is the type of movie, there's two types of movies like this. There are the movies that are intelligent, that are art, that are wonderful, that you go in and you use your brain, and you actually get a much better experience because this movie actually challenges you to think about what is going on, and it makes sense. And then there are movies that you have to go in turning your brain off because the plot makes no sense, and, or there's little plot at all, little story, that you're just there for the action. Well, I'm telling you right now that neither one of these methods work. If you try to turn your brain off by watching this movie, you are going to be so distracted of exactly how this movie doesn't make sense. And if you turn your brain off and just kind of want to go there for the action, the action is going to get so boring because it is so repetitive, because it is all done in slow motion to make the movie longer. Literally, there is a scene that should take maybe 30 seconds to film because of slow motion. It's actually stretched out to about maybe five minutes. And it's ridiculous to the point where it's not even funny. Basically, the action scenes are just unfun to watch. These have to be the most boring action scenes I have seen in recent memory. I don't understand why these movies keep getting made. They somehow are, are making money, that's why they keep getting made, but why? Why? It is clear that these movies are designed to exploit a franchise that actually, to some extent, works. And so, what the makers are saying is, hmm, let's see, if it works in the game, maybe it'll work in the movie, but we'll show, oh, it works better our way because we can make money. But no, no, you don't get the right 
to exploit a franchise that you have no rights to. And why Capcom has allowed them to do this, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, Capcom's got enough problems on its own, but it doesn't need this to ruin its reputation. I mean, dear God. Nothing in this movie works. Everything goes, just nothing goes wrong. None of the characters act the way they should. The acting is terrible at times. And the worst part is, is they leave it open for a sixth one. So apparently five films leading up to an obvious sixth one. So you're telling me it took five movies to get to this somehow anticlimactic ending, which we all know is coming, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't. It's hard to explain because I tried turning my brain off. I really did. But you have to give me something to work with. Even a shit-covered piece of toilet paper of a script would work. I mean, heck, the worst movie I have seen so far this year was Ghost Rider, and as bad as that movie was, at least it, it, it was entertaining at times, it had some entertaining value, but this has absolutely nothing to work with. This has to be one of the worst movies I have seen in recent memory. And I'm going to give it the title right now. This is the worst movie I have seen this year, period. We still have Breaking Dawn Part 2 to deal with later this year, and I already know that can't be this bad. I'm going to give this movie my first ever that I can think of, 0 out of 10. There was absolutely no redeeming quality, and I am so glad I didn't have to pay for this, because otherwise I would have been really pissed off. If you like this review, please like, comment down below, and subscribe up top to keep track of me and my future movie reviews, and like always, I'll see you next time. Just don't see this movie. Please, don't.